Hey, what's up everyone? We are back and uh, we're going to play some more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. But just quick before we start, I want to say bye because I didn't say it at the end of the last episode. So you're getting it now. Bye. Hi. Let's go. Chapter 14, training. Oh, yeah, I could use some training. Training, good. The Vinyon Empire, the largest nation on the continent, is a theocracy dedicated to the goddess Ashira. Hmm. Should have grabbed my water. I'll do that while I'm uh, preparing. Resigning from the... Uh, not resigning. Reigning from the summit of the Empire and guiding the world with the voice of the goddess, the Apostle Sanagi rules Benyon. As the Shira's chosen vessel, the Apostle is showered with love and respect from the entire nation. Seven Imperial Senators aid the Apostle in the gover governance of her realm. This system of government has been the backbone of Benyon for many long centuries. After Ike and his company aid the Apostle, her Holy Guard takes him to the Imperial Capital, Sien. Ugh. The upper class of Binyan society lives lives of pampered comfort and luxury. Well, I would expect so. Known as the Sainted, these elite power brokers reside in massive temple-like homes whose spires dominate the skyline. The guiding tower overlooks all from the heart of the city. Here, Ashira holds her vigil, watching over the world. Surrounding the tower is a series of temples, both large and small, placed in an orderly, systematic fashion. One temple, however, is conspicuously larger than the others. It is the Grand Temple Mainal, home to the Apostle. Ike and his company, used to the, used to the freedoms of Primia, find the differences in culture and custom to be very confusing. Eh, you'll get used to it, probably. Alright, here we go. Chapter 14, Training. Hmm. Ah. Just thinking about something. Some character. Some very sneakily hidden character. Ahem. Now then, you have proclaimed yourself to be the orphan of Primia's King Raymond, Princess Alencia of Riddell... <laughs> Princess Alencia Riddell Crimea, correct? Making up words here. Of in the middle. Just That's invisible of. It's a silent of. That has active camera. Yes. I have heard stories that King Crimea had a daughter in secret. My men have reported as much to me in the past. However, whether you are not, whether you are that princess or not, is another tale. Do you have nothing that would lend cre credence to your claims? I think, credence, credence. I'm not sure. Oh. Nothing at all. It took all my energy simply to avoid capture by Dayan. I had no time to secure any proof of my claim. Hmm. And with the Crown Prince Renning also dead, there's no one who even knows your face. What am I to do? I will vouch for her. My Lord Ike, I have no doubt that Princess Alencia is the true heir to the throne of Crimea. Oh really? And tell me, what gives you the strength of conviction? If we believe her story, this woman has not engaged with the outside world since the day she was born. So how is it that you, a lowly mercenary, dare to assert her th authenticity? The Dayan army pursues her with bloody-minded determination. At every turn, they demand that we turn Princess Alencia over to them. What further proof do you need? Hmm. If someone of proper standing made that pronouncement, I would accept it as irrefutable proof. But you, you're a commoner. You have no surname, no documented lineage. You have nothing. I know commoners. They're poor. For price, they will support any lie, no matter how outlandish. Hmm. Oh, now I suppose you will tell me you are the son of some noble house? No, of course not. But wait, perhaps you're a royal knight of Crimea? I am neither a noble nor a knight. I have no connection with the palace whatsoever. And no matter how much gold I stood to gain, I would not betray my convictions. Alencia has paid us, yes, but nothing more than the standard fee to purchase our services as her escort. Nothing more. <coughs> we have come this far only because we believe Alencia to be a woman of integrity. She would not sell our swords to a liar. I don't care how high and mighty you might be. I will not stand here and let you mock the bond of trust that ties us to Alencia. My Lord Ike! How dare you! Who are you to address the Apostle so crudely? Guards! Guards! Seize this man! For his abuse of the Apostle, the penalty can only can be only death! Oh, I hate that guy. Halt! Ha ha! Ha was right about you. You are very interesting. Uh, Apostle? Sephiran? That monk we rescued from the prison? 
A monk, was it? His disguises are always so clever. It never ceases to amaze me. As always, he remains an enigma. Heed my words. Sephiron is in truth Duke Belsis, Prime Minister of Binyan, and my most trusted advisor. He has been traveling the neighboring lands for months, trying to ascertain the condition of the people there. We have received detailed reports on Princess Alencia and the mercenary company serving as her escort. So, you knew we were coming? You knew who we were all along? Yes, I apologize for testing you. You see, life here in the palace is dreadfully dull. I am always so very bored. Thanks to the princess and her brazen little escort, this in interrogation proved to be an amusing diversion. Oh ho ho, so that's what this was. How very like you, Apostle. A cunning game of wits and words. Simply smashing. Even your most loyal servant, Duke Oliver of Tannis, was on the verge of being completely fooled. I am humbled. Oh ho ho, come, Duke Lucane. Uh, ahem. It was all a ruse, was it? Oh, Apostle, you do tease us so mercilessly. Still, it was not such a bad way to amuse ourselves, was it, Duke Hetzel? Oh, too true, my good Duke. Princess Crimea, it appears that you have put quite a smile on the face of our beloved Apostle. What an honor that must be. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, um, yes, I suppose. Madness! Oh, yes, I almost forgotten all the fun. Sephiron has already vouched for your identity as the true Princess of Crimea. I require no further proof. You may rest easy. I am most grateful. Wait a minute. Yes? What is the meaning of this? You knew Alencia was Princess Crimea. And you continue to humiliate her for your own entertainment? For some stupid game of wits and words? This is no joke. Alencia's homeland is lost to her. Her family has been hunted down and killed by the monsters of Day Inn. And with nowhere else to turn, she endures mortal danger and terrible heartbreak to reach her door. And then you... you laugh at her? Where's the humor in that? Where's your decency? You're horrible. You're all hor You are all horrid people. You disgust me beyond words. And you owe Alencia a proper apology. My... my lord Ike, please. Wretched peasant, you lose that treacherous tongue once more and... Duke Lacane, restrain yourself. But... but... I am speaking. Be still. Grr. Now then, Ike, I fully understand your feelings. Your passion for your employer is, a truly, is truly a beautiful thing. With that, my own fawning vassals shared your commitment. However, truth be told, your behavior does test my patience. Raise your voice once more to me, and you will seriously damage the princess's already pre precarious position. Do you understand? Not really. Why don't you fill me in? Even if Valencia is truly crime and royalty, she's at best heir to a dead country. Nothing more. Without Binyan's support, Alencia's claim holds no meaning. Am I mistaken? Pa! Even if we harm her fragile feelings, for the sake of her country's future, she must stand by and say nothing. In fact, she's in no position to do anything but beg for Binyan's favor. Or, hadn't you noticed? Uh, I have much to consider. For now, I shall take my leave of you. I will meet with the senators soon and discuss the state of affairs. Primus fu future will not be uncertain for long. Until that time, I suggest you rest and relax. Perhaps you could try your hand at our courtly games of wit and words. Ugh. How annoying. What incredible nerve to take advantage of our situation and speak down to us like that. I don't care if she's the Empress or the Apostle or whatever. I can't stand her. Listen, Ike, isn't it possible that the Apostle saved you? What? Titania's correct. Minyan is a nation ruled by time-honored custom and ancient conventions. You insulted the impossible, the very symbol of their way of life. The fact that you are still breathing is a miracle. I hadn't realized. And as her escort, your criminal behavior would fall directly on your employer, Princess Alencia. If you had truly angered the apostle, any hope of restoring Crimea would have vanished like a puff of smoke. That ma That's madness! They would sacrifice a whole country to satisfy their own egos. I, this may not be much of an answer, but letting madness rule the day is the pr prerogative of nobility. The, Debor the De Bjork divide themselves into classes, and with classes come prejudice. From the moment of our birth to our final dying gasp, we commoners know we are not allowed to defy the upper classes. Uh, Princess Alencia, I, I'm sorry. My ignorance does not excuse my stupidity. I truly am sorry. No, I... What you said, you said in my defense and in my honor. It made me very pleased. Huh? 
To see you so angry on my behalf, your words filled my heart. It wasn't as noble as you make it sound. However, there is one point that I would contest. It is true that I've lost my family and my home. But I did have people to turn to, people to rely on. My Lord Ike, you and your company were at my side. For me, this has been a great source of inspiration and of happiness. Princess Alencia. My Lord Ike, please call me Alencia. Huh? That would be improper, wouldn't it? I mean, you're our employer and... You called me so earlier. I did? Really? You didn't notice? No, I... Oh, my apologies. I'll be more careful. Well, I suppose we should go. They prepared rooms for us. Ah, my Lord Ike. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. Uh, MVP Rolf. Well, Astro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess... Yeah, Gatry. Gatry's technically not a new ally. He's a returning ally. Oh, no, no, no. Fought excellently. Yeah. Alright, so that's that. Uh, just click. Um, yes, it is here. Yes, alright. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and outfit my units, get ready, and then, uh, I'll be back. Um, probably with some water. And, uh, then we'll start this, we'll start this, we'll do the supports and info, and then we'll start. So, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And now we're gonna do some, uh, some supports and info. Let's go supports. Let's see if we have them. Ah, rats. No. Uh, no. No. Uh... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright, info then. <clears throat> Marsha. Uh, that was quite a sigh. Huh? Aw, oh, nuts. You heard that, handsome? Sorry about that. You've been behaving oddly lately. Something happened? <sighs> I'm fine. It's just, well, being here in Binyan is difficult, you know. Difficult? You remember the Pegasus Knights here, weren't you? Aren't you happy to see some of your old friends? No, I'm not happy. It's... It's so blasted and embarrassing, I can't bear to face them. What? I've told you why I resigned my knighthood, haven't I? Yes, you're searching for your brother. It's my brother's fault. I, I, ah, that no good chum bucket. Uh, maybe we should just drop it. Huh? Oh no, it's, don't worry about me. Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't let it get you, to you too much. I don't want you distracted in a fight, alright? Got it, thanks. Ike's a brother too, so why is he so different from my brother? Grr, lazy do-nothing. Alright, Astrid. Yeah. Um, Commander Ike? Hmm? Oh, it's you. Are you trying to clear your head as well? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just walking and thinking about things. Binyon is so odd. I don't understand this country at all. Hmm, I can see that. Everything's so wrapped up in form and tradition, it feels like Binyon has lost track of more important things. You're not some noble house's daughter, are you not? Or, you're, you are some noble house's daughter, are you not? What made you decide to become a knight? To escape my royal family. No, not to escape, but to confront it. I want my life to be my own. How do you like being a knight? I am still not satisfied. I may not be a knight, but my hands still shake when I draw my bowstring. So perhaps my goal is not simply to become a knight. Perhaps my true goal was to become stronger. Commander Ike, the others say that you never give up, no matter how bleak this fight. That seems like true strength to me. Please, allow me to continue fighting by your side. If I remain with you, I will grow stronger from your example. Your skill with the bow is spectacular. How could I possibly refuse your request? We're pleased to have you, even though I make no use. No, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Like I said, if you want to use her, you know, just not, not the biggest fan. Sorry. Uh, give me a sec here. I'm just getting a sip of water. Well, if it isn't Ike, out for a walk, Commander? Hello, Gotry. Yeah, if I stay in that horrible gaudy room for too long, I start to feel depressed. Is that why you're out here, too? No, I'm just... I'm here for different reasons. I'm just admiring the flowers. Oh, right. Yes, they all seem to be in bloom this time of year. The large yellow ones are especially pretty. Not those flowers. Those flowers. Gotri, we're inside. There's nothing here but the temple and ha but the temple handmaidens. Exactly. It's like a whole new species of girl lives in Binyon. Everyone in this palace is drop dead gorgeous. You know what I mean, Ike? Tee -hee. Say, which one strikes your fancy? That booksome last with the chestnut hair is. Hey, Ike! Ike! Bah, he's still just a boy. Ugh. Oh, fucking Gotri. Psst. 
You want to hear something? There's a rumor going around that a tiger subhuman has been seen on the foggy banks of this very river. Eh, what? You don't seem surprised. Alright then, how about this? That subhuman? They say it's always in beast form. It can't change back. Right frightening, ain't it? The only way for us humans to fight the savages is to wait for them to change out of beast form. I mean, how can we kill them if they won't change? Still no reaction, eh? What a bore. How's about this juicy morsel then? Was saving it, I was, but... I heard from my darling in the army that tigers, cats, and other four-legged subhumans hate fire magic. That's a useful tidbit, ain't it? Oh, I knows things. You there, serving wench. There's work to be done. Why are you wasting your time chattering on? Well, what's wrong? Just saying hello to one of the new servants is all. You fool, this is no servant. I? Oi? A what? Oh, crikey! Princess Crime is escort. A guest of the Apostle? Oh! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Please! Please forgive me! Well, what should I do? Oh, he looked right angry, he did. I might get sacked. Yeah, Ike's not big on racism either. Props to you, Ike. Although, I believe that would be. that stuff would be useful. And, um. I'll probably cut this out. I need a second. I gotta look something up on the internet. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I just needed to look something up quick. Uh, we don't need to worry about it right now, but next chapter we will. But uh, for now, I'll just save. And get ready to go do chapter 14. So, let's go.